In this video, we're going to learn how to add and subtract fractions with like and unlike denominators. So let's start with fractions that are like. That means that they have the same denominator. So in this case, we've got 3 sixth minus 1 sixth. So if you look here, you can see a picture. Here is a pizza divided into six pieces and three of them are shaded. And here is the same pizza with one piece shaded. So we have three sixths, and we're going to take away one sixth of that. And that leaves us with two sixths. So notice that when um, we are subtracting or adding, the denominator stays the same. So remember the denominator is the number on the bottom, and that always stays the same when we're adding or subtracting. We're only adding or subtracting the numerators. So here, 3 sixths minus 1 sixth is 2 sixths. And just like we learned in the last video, in simplest form, that would be 1 third because we can divide the numerator by 2 and the denominator by 2, and that would give us 1 third. And it's important to always put your answer in simplest form. Okay, so when the numerators, the denominators, excuse me, are the same, then we're all set. We can start adding and subtracting. But let's look what happens when the denominators are not the same. So in this case, we have denominators that are not the same. So we're trying to add one-third plus one-half. And we learned that we can't do that. We can't add or subtract until we have like denominators. Denominators are the same. So in order to do that, we are going to create equivalent fractions where the denominators are the same. So in order to choose the denominator, it's called choosing the least common denominator, the denominator they have in common, we're going to try to find a number that each of these will divide into evenly. So to help us do that, we can come over to the side and find the least common multiple. So I'm gonna start by listing out my multiples of two. So that would be two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, and I'm just gonna kinda of stop right here. Then I'm gonna list out my multiples of three. So I'm bringing the three over here, so three, six, nine, 12. So I'm gonna stop when I find one that they have in common. So here they have six in common and they also have 12 in common, but I want to use the smallest one they have in common. That's why they call it the least common multiple because smaller numbers are just easy to work with. So instead of choosing the 12, I'm gonna choose the six because it's smaller. So I'm going to come over here now and set up new equivalent fractions that will have a common denominator so I can then add them together. So I'm going to choose a denominator of 6, and then I've got to create equivalent fractions. So remember we learned that to make an equivalent fraction, we can multiply the numerator and the denominator by the same thing in order to get that fraction. So I want my denominator to be six. So I say to myself, what do I multiply by three to get six? And that would be two. So if I multiply the denominator by two, that means I also have to multiply the numerator by two. So one times two would be two. So now I've changed one-third into two-sixths. These are equivalent fractions, but now I have a denominator of six. So now I need to do the same thing with one-half. So I know I want my denominator to be six. So I say, what can I multiply by two to get six? And that would be three. So if I'm multiplying my denominator by three, I also have to multiply my numerator by three. So two times three is six, and one times three is three. So now I have created equivalent fractions, 
that have the same denominator. So now I can add. So 2 sixths plus 3 sixths, my denominator is going to stay the same. It's going to stay as a 6, but I'm going to add my numerators together, which would be 5. So that means that 1 third plus 1, fit, 1 half equals 5 sixths. And I know this is in simplest form because there's nothing that I can divide into 5 that I can also divide into 6. Okay, let's look at one more example. Here I'm trying to add 2 fifteenths plus 3 fifths. So I have different denominators. So the first thing I have to do is to get my denominators to be the same. And in order to do that, I have to figure out what is um, a number that 15 and 5 will do both divide into evenly. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to find my least common multiple. So I'm going to start with the 5, and that's 5, 10, 15, 20, just kind of stop there, and then I'll come down and do the 15, that's 15, 30, and I'm noticing right away that my least common multiple is 15. So that's going to be my denominator. So I'm going to come set up my denominators here. Remember, I'm trying to get my denominator the same, so it's going to be 15. So this first fraction already has the denominator of 15, so I can just leave that one as 2 fifteenths because it's already got the denominator of 15. But 3 fifths does not, so I need to change it to an equivalent fraction that has the denominator of 15. So I say, what can I multiply by 5 to get 15? And in this case, it would be 3. So 5 times 3 is 15. But if I multiply this by 3, I also have to multiply this numerator by 3. So 3 times 3 is 9. So that means that 9 fifteenths is equivalent to 3 fifths because I multiplied the numerator and the denominator both by 3. So now my denominators are the same, which means I'm ready to add. So when I add like fractions, I keep the denominator the same. So the denominator will stay at 15, and I'm just going to add the numerators together. So 2 plus 9 equals 11. So that means 2 fifteenths plus 3 fifths equals 11 fifteenths. Now, I know this is in simplest form because there's nothing that will divide into 11 that will also divide into 15. So this is my final answer, 11 fifteenths.